question we get asked a lot is, what gun should I get? And that's a question that no dealer can answer for you because that's going to be completely dependent on you. And there's a lot of factors that go into play on choosing the correct firearm for what you're looking for. Uh, first off, is it something that you intend on ever carrying? If you're looking for a carry pistol, then that restricts what size gun you're going to want to get. If you're just looking for something at home, then size doesn't matter. And it really just boils down to what feels best in your hand. Uh, another factor is recoil. We get a lot of people that ask about uh, you know, how much does it kick, what's the recoil like, and in those discussions we typically want to talk about calibers, uh, weight of the firearm, size of the firearm, and the shooter's skill level. So basically nobody can tell you what gun you should get. Uh, the best advice that I can give is actually going out to a range where they have an instructor on site that has firearms that they can let you shoot. And when you do that, that instructor should take you through the different pros and cons of those different firearms. For example, a caliber pro and con would be 9mm and 380. let Let's say we're looking at those two calibers. Well, 9mm is less expensive than 380. However, 380 is going to have a little less recoil than 9mm. So it really just depends on what your gives and takes are. You know, do you want to be able to practice more uh, at the same dollar point with 9mm? Or are you really concerned about that recoil so you're going to go with something in a 380 platform? And that's just one example. So really, if anybody's telling you that that gun is what you should get, and you're not an experienced shooter and you're not comfortable with that caliber already, then don't listen to them. Make sure that you get out there and practice shooting with those different calibers. And if you can, shoot with those particular firearms. Uh, some instructors also do what's called a firearm fit class. So they'll have 10, 15, 20 guns that they bring that are their personal firearms for you to shoot and maybe you might even shoot. You might pick it up and just feel like it's horrible and then work through that process of what's best for you. So when you're asking the question about what gun should I get, there's a lot of factors, but the most important factor is what do you plan on using that firearm for? Uh, is it gonna be something you wanna carry on your person or is it just something for the house? Um, I recommend never getting a vehicle gun if you are ever going to leave a gun in your vehicle unattended, make sure you have a secure lockbox that is secured to some permanent part of your vehicle. What I mean by that is cable it and lock it maybe to the seat frame. Uh, something that's going to be difficult for a car thief or somebody breaking into your vehicle to grab and go. Um, but other than that, honestly, whatever feels best in your hand is always my recommendation. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. If anybody's really trying to push you toward a particular firearm, keep the question why in the back of your head. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions or if anybody has a particular topic that they want us to cover, please drop it in the comments below and like and subscribe. Thank you.